Hey guys, subscribe for daily content. And if you're shopping for gear, make sure you check out the description for the newest items at some of the very best online retailers. There's also links for some of the items that I personally recommend. Thanks. What's going on YouTube? Metal Complex here and today I've got a very special custom knife overview and presentation to share with you guys. This is the Bastion Knives Dragon, which is absolutely one of the wildest knives I've ever shown on this channel. Let me explain the gloves real quick. I always have to because whenever whenever people see reviewers using gloves, they assume that that means that the thing they're holding is very delicate or that they're not supposed to touch it or anything. No, uh, that's not why. We wear gloves because we don't want to get fingerprints on it. And when everybody's trying to watch the video that I'm assuming they clicked on because they want to watch it, right? in 4K with all the close-ups, really the last thing you want to see is a bunch of ugly fingerprints all over the thing, right? So uh, this knife can be touched with your bare hands and it is absolutely not delicate. The only reason for the gloves is to keep the fingerprints off of it. The, uh, the, the thing that everybody's going to yell here, which is not an original thought at all, uh, is uh, that looks like a gas station. I, yeah, I've heard that before. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's the, I mean, and it's understandable, right? It's, it's that, that's a thought that's based on extremely limited comprehension. You know, it just is. Uh, people generally see gas station knives or knives that, that exist at a gas station, which is funny because that, that aesthetic is all over the place, right? But they, they see that stuff first. Most people, they don't see what it's, what it's actually attempting to copy poorly, um, which is the wild and crazy aesthetic designs from the actual custom knife world, which has been around much longer. This takes everything a step further. This goes way beyond, and it should be obvious that uh, Ali Bastion is creating art here intentionally. What this is, is art. And I have to say this, um, I was so immediately impressed by this. I, I, can't, I, I This is absolutely true. I have never in my life ordered a custom faster. I messaged him right after I finished the video. If you guys remember when I unboxed this, I messaged him immediately and I said, are your books open? And I'll tell you why. Because I've never seen anything like this. I've never, the amount of, you know, whether you like it or not, right? And that's fine, you can, you can comment, you can let me know, you can let everybody know what you think, whatever. Uh, whether you like it or not, this is, <laughs> in, in the, the most spectacular way an incredibly striking aesthetic and it's obviously got a lot of work in it it's not just the materials which by the way are mostly sole authorship meaning he makes this stuff if you've never seen anything like this before if you're like brand new to custom knives that is not a laser pattern this is mosaic damascus that he creates himself the finish is brought out by a special chemical, which is his own special stuff, his secret sauce. I have no idea what it is, and he's obviously not going to tell anybody. Um, I think the process, I remember seeing him respond to somebody on Instagram saying that the, the way that it's brought out is similar to gun bluing. Um, but uh, this is a non-stainless Damascus that he creates. So we get these very wild patterns, and it, the blade is what did it for me. I was like, man, anybody who can make this is a master, a master craftsman, like beyond. If there's like a rank above that, like a secret, like wizard rank above that, that's what this guy is. I've never seen anything like this. And I had had a, uh, a, a design in my head for a while, which is now, you know, it's not like a special, like no one's ever seen it before style of knife. But I thought I'm going to save this for the right maker. And I, I've had it for a bit. I've been waiting, you know for a while to have it have it made. And uh, as soon as I opened this up, as soon as I got this out and looked at it, look at that pocket clip, huh? I said, this is the guy, you know? And uh, it's done and being sent to me right now and I, I've seen pictures of it, many of you have, and I am, uh, I, I was right. This was the guy to do it. Yep, absolutely. Thanks so much to uh, Sierra Bound. <laughs> trying to pick this up with gloves and I can't. Sierra Bound on Instagram for loaning this to me for review. That is the owner of this knife. This knife has an order. It's a owner. It's already purchased, right? 
Um, but uh, thanks so much to him for sending this in, loaning it to me for review. It will go back to him when I'm done. Thanks to my patrons for supporting me, and please make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. This is not a review. I don't review custom knives. That would just be a stupid thing to do. Um, I, I, this is essentially show and tell. This is me as a collector and enthusiast appreciating, uh, regardless of what I think of the aesthetic, appreciating the work that goes into something like this. And I feel like you know that, having clicked on this video. The overall length of this model comes in at about, if you go all the way back to this tail back here, and believe me, we're going to get a lot of close-up looks at this, eight and a half inches. Uh, the blade length is coming in at maybe 3.6 or so, and cutting edge is about three and a half. It is definitely not a small knife. We'll do a couple of size comparisons. I don't think it's really all that useful to do a bunch of size comparisons, right, considering what we are looking at here. So there you go, rat one and rat two. Uh, here's the bug out. <laughs> Here is the para three. And I'll do the Ritter Hogue. And I think that's about enough of that, right? Let's talk about the materials here because, like I said, they're sole authorship. Scott always does a great job of sending me information. So the blade, which again, he creates, he makes this. In fact, when I show off my custom, he sent me a bunch of videos of the process, which was very cool. It's always fun to see the process, right? Because everybody does things just a little bit differently. Sole authorship, Forge 1070 and 15 and 20 carbon steel mosaic Damascus. Uh, I think some people are going to get hung up on the, uh, the type of materials. The idea is obviously to get the materials to react to his special chemical, right? So, you know, don't focus to, I think people are going to be like, 1070, oh, think, think about this. He's trying to accomplish a specific aesthetic, right? So uh, that whatever whatever he needs to accomplish that that aesthetic, right, with his stuff, uh, then that's, that's just what it's going to be. I've never heard of 15 and 20, but what we end up with is a carbon steel mosaic Damascus blade. And let me tell you, uh, just judging by the, the, the final product here, he's, he's obviously using the right stuff, right? <laughs> <laughs> Bolsters and clip, sole authorship, three alloy, titanium and zirconium, which is, he actually calls bastanium. Um, that's pretty cool. Uh, we'll get some close-ups in that here in a second. The scale inlays on this guy are mammoth tooth. The backspacer and collars are zirconium. Um, uh, let's see. Yeah, backspacers and collars are, are all zirconium. The liners are titanium. Uh, all the hardware is hidden, and the file work, which is all of this, was done by hand. What on earth? This is amazing. Yeah. I knew, I, I, I mean, this is just wild. Look at this pocket clip. Obviously meant to resemble something like that came off of a dragon, right? Yeah. He accomplished that aesthetic. This is beautiful. I mean, look at the pivot here. This is wild. Really really wild. It's also very thick. Look at the uh, back here, the spine. Um, mammoth tooth is one of those materials where it's like, yeah, it's neat. And it's obviously like laid in really well. I mean, the, the overall execution of all of this, right, whether you like how these materials look or not, right, the execution of it is great. I'm going to be honest with you. The, the aesthetic of this particular design is not not one that I'm like, oh, I, I love that aesthetic. But when I look at this stuff, I look way beyond that. You know, obviously I have my preferences. But when I saw this, all of that went completely out the window. It's, this was sensory overload for me. Uh, but mainly, this blade, I had never seen anything like this. This gold and green... An orange, this is not a trick of the light or something. It's not some weird effect that you're getting from a filter. No, it actually is orange and green. And in some areas down here towards the edge is, is almost red. This is ridiculous. This is ridiculous. I've never seen anything like that. Mosaic Damascus is beautiful. I have absolutely no idea how he's creating these patterns. But they, it is actually layers of steel that have come out like this <laughs> his ability to grind a blade think about how difficult this would be to create right it's one thing to look at like the max ace dragon which is everybody's going to reference that right uh <laughs> look at the max ace dragon 
and go, wow, that's that's amazing, right? But the, but that blade was created by machines. That's it, 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 and it is. It, it's incredible that they managed to do that with such precision. This is way way crazier. This is way crazier, man. <laughs> I can't believe I would have expected the the final cutting bevels to be jacked to all hell, right? I, I cannot believe that he's able to do this with such precision. This is wonderful. Obviously, there are some machine elements even in something like this, which is almost entirely handmade. But still, his ability to execute this, to have this, this came out of his head. And he's like, yeah, I'm going to make that. And then he did. <laughs> And he made, first he made the materials, obviously he didn't make the mammoth tooth, but he made the um, the three, the, the, the triple titanium composition zircotai and the mosaic Damascus, and then turned them into this. I mean, how, how often do we, do we see that, right? Even if you are aware of other knife makers that have, that are, are capable of similar things, I, I think that <laughs> it, not very often. Let's put it. That's putting it lightly. This is rare. This is a rare thing, right? And it's absolutely the reason that I immediately pulled the trigger. You handle something like this. If you're into custom knives or somebody who regularly, you know, takes interest in this stuff, this is the type of thing that makes you immediately. I mean, I I, I could not hit that, you know, video off button faster. I could not get into Instagram faster. Which I needed. I, I needed to have something made uh, by Ali. Uh, also, the um, the process. If you watch my knife guy video where I talked about my experience with custom knife makers, um, I don't have a, an enormous amount of experience ordering custom knives, but I have done it a few times. Um, Ali is great, fantastic. Uh, he updated me every step of the way. Um, I, uh, you know, I, I didn't need to ask him for more information. He was telling me exactly what he was doing. And I, uh, I really appreciated the fact that he would make suggestions where um, I had left. You know, I'm not a knife maker. I'm a knife reviewer. What I do is substantially easier than what he does. And that, that's, again, we're, that statement is, that's a light statement. Um, <laughs> obviously, what I do is much easier. But there's a lot that I don't know. Right, and on top of that, he's got a specific way of doing things. So what I really appreciated was he would, you know, he would say, "Here's what I think you should do in this area, and here's why." Not just "Here's what I'm gonna do." He would say, "Here's what I think you should do, and here's why I think you should do it." And he would send a video explaining. And uh, as somebody who's, you know, paying a lot of money for something custom made, I really appreciated that. It was really nice. He completed this project very quickly, which is amazing. Um, and uh, my whole experience was just excellent. Very, very excellent. It was very interesting to see how he was doing this. He has these, they're, little, they're like little cooking, you know, it's it, little, little containers. And obviously the ones that he had uh, created so far were meant to contain smaller blades, but I had a much larger fixed blade done, and so he had to actually custom create a new, um, I don't even know what we call it, cauldron. <laughs> it was this very long thing with the little metal hooks to hold the, the blade in a specific place, and then he had to use multiple burners to keep the heat um, you know, generally consistent. And so he created this thing specifically so that he could make my knife, which was just about, <laughs> that's just beyond my comprehension. It went so far above and beyond what I initially expected, you know, which I already expected a lot, but it went way above that. And it was just incredible. Uh, obviously, the uh, final product here, I'm, I'm amazed at how much, I mean, I've always thought you can't get red in titanium. Boy, did he get uh, close in some of these areas. You can't get red out of the anodizing process of titanium. And it's amazing how close he got in some of these areas. This is beautiful. And sorry, I'm trying to shine this up with the glove. The camera is just not going to do it justice. Um, it's really hard to focus on just one part of this knife. And that, you know, that's what people are going to say. The, the aesthetic is too busy. It's fine. I, this knife goes so far beyond just the aesthetic of it. Th this knife tells a much bigger story immediately it should be immediately clear to i think anybody looking at this 
The story that this knife is screaming at you is the person who made me is capable of nearly infinite things. <laughs> what they're capable of creating is massive, right? I'm almost willing to bet that pretty much anything that would pop up in his mind, he, he would be able to, to create, right? Uh, this file work is just, this is insane. I, I don't, I mean, I just keep using the same words over and over and over again. I like that we've got these contrasting, this is more, you know, dark purple, orange, hints of magenta, right? And then we have the zirconium in there. And then back here we have this light blue uh, faded to gold and then back to blue and then back to gold or bronze again. That's all been polished, like everything. <laughs> everything about this has been polished. I have no idea, you know, when he made mine, he showed me the blade, right? First he showed me the blank, you know, the, the mosaic Damascus that he was starting with and he, he etched it like a traditional etch first to show me the pattern. So he had the etch like halfway down the blade and he said, here's the pattern. I said, wow, man, that's beautiful. And then, you know, he, he, he had it ground out in the shape of a dagger. Then he put a fuller in it, showed me the fuller and it, it had like the sort of like the, the, the a standard satin finish. And then the next video showed me the whole thing was mirror polished, the, ent <laughs> the entire blade. And there was no etch on it yet. And then I guess after he does the mirror polishing, then he puts it in the sauce. And I don't know if there are other processes after that. I, I don't know. I was, the, the whole thing was very interesting to me. Um, but the, the final product was unbelievable. I, the final product was something that I did not know was possible. I didn't know existed. And I just think far too few people are aware of this, of this guy. Now I should have said this at the beginning. In fact, I'll have put it at the beginning, um, so that you guys can see it, but it's, it's Bastion Knives, uh, on Instagram, um, which I'm, I'm sure you guys probably could have guessed at this point. Um, but, uh, yeah, his Instagram is right there, uh, Bastion Knives. So it's worth following him just if, any, if for no, no other reason than just to look through his, his stuff. It, it really is just truly breathtaking. You know, what's funny is that you know, this knife, well, I very much doubt that it'll, it'll get used by Scott, you know, but if somebody, you know, bought a knife from him and planned to use it, <laughs> it's, it's more comfortable than you would assume a dragon-themed pocket knife would be. I mean, there are still organic ergonomic lines like these right here. These are traditional lock-in lines, you know, for a, for a folding knife. A beautiful uh, titanium liner incredibly smooth action, right? This is drop shut and the the actual flip is wonderful. I mean, look at this. <laughs> you absolutely can use the initial hole. We have some extra holes there, some drainage holes uh, for deployment and it works, right? Beautiful, not just beautiful to look at, but it's, it's executed properly. Incredibly thick, very, very thick. Um, I know people might be curious about how much it weighs. Um, if you're new to my channel, this is probably a very strange and confusing video because it's not, you, you can't, you can't review stuff like this. It's not my, my, my general style with, with these videos, it doesn't work on stuff like this. It just doesn't make sense, right? It weighs, uh, 10 and a half ounces. That doesn't surprise me at all. Um, but yeah. I think this, this is some of the nicest looking uh, stuff I've seen, uh, you know, and, and I've seen uh, like colored Damascus, right? You know, I've seen the, the stuff that they get cobalt into or, you know, they use um, like I've seen the dragon skin stuff where they smash all the ball bearings together and they make a Damascus out of that. And then they it's like a gun blowing process. I've seen that before. And I've seen mosaic Damascus. I've just not seen it like this. This is just wild, man. And you can even see it etched into the cutting bevel, which is <laughs> really, really crazy. Um, this is uh, this is absolutely one of the wildest things I've ever seen. And like I said, this the final product of this particular knife is not an aesthetic that I, you know, would would purchase. But 
I'm putting this in my custom knives playlist and I'm also putting it in my favorite knives of all time playlist and, and it's very specifically, this is the only time I've ever done this. I'm putting it in there because the knife did something, it created you know, an, an event that like no other knife has. Uh, I'm, I'm putting it in my favorite knives of all time playlist because of what it did in, in immediately when I uh, when I unboxed it, right? The effect that it had on me, the the story that it told of the the person who created it, right? It basically screamed at me, you you need to you got an order from this guy because <laughs> you've never seen anything like me before, right? I am a gigantic fan, and uh, it, you know if if he'll t he told me he said I'm probably not going to do another uh, an another knife like yours for a long time. But if he'll take another order from me, I am certain that it will, this will not be the only time that I ever order from him. Um, but uh, thank you for the amazing, to Ollie, thank you for the amazing um, experience, the amazing customer experience you gave to me. Uh, really, really grateful for that. Uh, thanks to Scott for showing me that this existed. If it wasn't for Scott, uh, this, and there's a lot of stuff that I never would have known about. So I feel very fortunate that Scott is willing to loan me stuff like this so that I can experience it. Um, just really cool. That's going to be pretty much it today, guys. I, I hope you got to see every part of this that you wanted to see. I know people are like, how could you do the whole video and not talk more about that pocket clip? I'll give you guys a couple more looks here at the pocket clip. Uh, it's just wild, man. Uh, absolutely insane. I don't know. I don't think there's anything else that, uh, that I can say here. Uh, the knife speaks for itself, even though I talked for 20 minutes. Um, please, where's my little card? There it is. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at metal underscore complex. If you enjoyed this video, leave a like. If you'd like to check out my other content, I do, of course, have lots of videos of knives that are either expensive or inexpensive that I do or don't like, so check those out. And if you enjoy all my content, go ahead and click on the Metal Complex logo right there and subscribe because there's definitely more coming. Thanks again for watching, everybody, and have a great day.